Alpha, my brothers, how you doing? I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing anatomy tips on the chest muscles, and I'm going to be doing the female, you know, chest broad where you got the breast and you got the muscles about it. And let me do a quick sketch up and show you what we work, what we're working with. Uh, so the three major, you know, visible chest muscles we're going to be using. See the is indicated. That's your one, two, and three. Notice how they intersect the humerus bone. So the second one goes underneath the first one. Keep that in mind. It's like a hand fan. See that? Let's let's look at the 3D form. See, following the shape, the sternum separates them both, so it's not like glued together. You know, there's like a little ligament in between. And this is just to show you the difference so you don't have your chest looking too flat at the end of the day. You know, we all, everyone got a different type of you know, muscle mass, so you tend to, you still tend to have it, you know, in the 3D shape. It's like a flattish. Um, cuboid, I'd say. A really flat cuboid. And let's look at it from this angle. I'm gonna do a complete drawing. Remember, the deltoid it sips under the deltoid by the ways. So you see that it goes underneath the deltoid. It's covered. You know, all the hand fan extra bits at the back is just munched under there so we got it looking like this uh, let's let me show you the nip lines so you know where to place the nips as well this is similar for the male and the female it's a little bit different for the female it's you know because of the breast it's more you know it can be tacky it could be underneath or it could just be you know it's really really different but men's are more consistent it can be different as well but it's more consistent this is at a 45 degree I mean, obviously, this isn't measured, but if you're taking the 90 from the sternum, you know, you could just click it and have it into half, then you could get a little nice looking 45 angle. Like I said, it's different. Then I'm gonna indicate that. Let me show you for a person that has more fat. Because the fat is sitting underneath in the third. You know, pec muscle. You know, that's where you tend to have more fat accumulate. So you know, it looks something like that. It pulls out. It's gonna shake this in. Or say not. And I'm gonna do a line weight and shading at the end. You know, the drill. Or you could just have fun with this. Still give you an idea. Go check out the shading video and line weight, the basics. And the nip lines help you shade as well. I'm gonna get deep into that. Uh, let's look at the breast. 
watch all the movies. I don't know how you don't like to call yours. So now we're going to be obviously using the chest muscles and it sits around the mid section, the mid and the third section of you know the pack muscle. So it's gonna look something like this. Two hanging balls. I came out so wrong, but you, you get what I'm saying. Damn, I can't just ever say things. Anyways, see that and it's nicely tucked underneath you know the second pack muscle where it goes you literally over the first one I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but I can show you that again later I remember the breasts sit on the rib cage so it's not flat and the rib cage is not flat so it's, it tends to pull out outwards see that and that's why you need the nip lines to help you exaggerate the look and make it look more organic I'm gonna show you a one a smaller today see that it pulls out so it's not flat the rib cage is not flat so you don't have the tits uh, you know together or the breast together rather I'm actually using the word I'm gonna get in so much trouble I'm gonna do a couple of little poses and show you how you know show you the mechanism how the muscles work so you don't be drawing <laughs> Characters with stiff chests and with no fluidity, and so you can learn how to position the breasts properly as well. See, for the bigger breast, you can't really see the rib cages. Take note of that as well because they sit on it. For the smaller one, you tend to see them. Let's start with a, fee, with a male and a female. Like a bird's eye view. It's like a bird's eye view. Oh, no. <laughs> so, let's make it a, t a tilt. Let's just say they're facing forward. Then, like hands on knees, something like that. Ah, see that? Get the deltoid. Get the first section. With the muscle tucked in and you know the second section is underneath the first one so what are you gonna do now you know pull it that's what you're gonna do pull it pull it from underneath you're gonna guess like that you can't really see the third one but you could kind of indicate you know with fine weight and shading because remember you know what is connection and intersection of muscles and forms you're gonna have thicker line now for the woman's chest muscles and breast correlation I'm gonna follow the pattern of the male then see that construct it's about that same curvature so that help you place the boobs correctly. But like I said, it, you know we all got different kinds, so I'm just using a typical style to show you, so you can fully get what I'm saying, fellas. Don't go around drawing Optimus Prime chest looking at I don't know what you're gonna call it a windscreen chest and that uh, some boobs could look like that some let's say it's smaller it's just gonna look like this as well 
Uh, moving on, let's go to the next pose. Go have this fella one arm up and one arm at the side. And just to make it easier. So you could, it's like a two in one. So you can see what I'm talking about. Go to for the lady. Go to the opposite sides this time. It's gonna be the right arm up, the left arm by the side. Do you feel me? I know the basics. Grab it from the first section under the deltoid. Second one and the third one. See that? Pretty simple, isn't it? Pretty simple, isn't it? Eventually you get used to it, you know. I had my problems, my chest problems. I could I just I can't just say it right. I see that. Because you're lifting, you know, the lady's lifting her arm up, so obviously the breast tends to follow. So it's gonna be lifted up as well. You can indicate the little muscle, you know, the little chest muscles underneath it, and the nipple are gonna go up as well. So take note, it actually adds flavor and dynamicity to your figures. Feel me? A sad view. Sad view could be tricky. Go be careful. So like I said, for the male, we're gonna have there's like a flat keyboard. So it's to go show the 3D look. Could be something like this. Now you have some guys you know that have more circular muscle mass around, so you can play with that. You got some guys that don't, you can hardly even see. You know, the chest muscle is just flat, that's super flat. For the women, following the same method, you see that tucked in at the side, like I said earlier on. The rib cage is not flat, so you have the breast popping outwards. So you're gonna have, you're, gonna, you're definitely gonna see the nipple like that. So the heavier it is, it's going to drop, obviously. So, breast weight needs line weight. Keep that in mind. And right, let's get to it. Shading, line weight. You already, you should know the basics by now. Get the light source. lines farther from the light source are darker the lights closer are thinner and lighter obviously as you can see and this where the nips the two nips line are gonna help you if you remember that's one and that's two now depending on the hue or let's say the contrast or something of the light. You could pick one neckline you want to shade with inwards, the chest muscle. I'm going to pick the first one to make it look much more in depth. I'm going to show you how. I prefer using the second one to be honest. So you don't make, unless your character is super, super muscular. I 
her same thing. She didn't want to cause fear. Oh. Once I got marked her, I didn't mark her the first go shadow run. I didn't mark him like that. Dude. No, I didn't do this run. You kind of get the idea what I'm going with. Okay, here we're going to use the second lip line. See that the light coming from the top side. is much more better. It's but way better. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple more for the press size and show you go more in a smaller style. Go like a just do one as saggy. Show you that at the end of the day it's still the same principles this and that's pretty much it check out the other videos anatomy tips you know the drill fellas like comment subscribe